What is up, YouTube? Um, I'm back. I know I have not posted in quite a while. Uh, I've been working and doing other things, keeping busy, staying f away from uh, social media, trying to. Um, but uh, I'm back to do a quick story on a dark net and very interesting story because uh, it's about another marketplace that has been recently uh, taken down seized by the uh, FBI and ATF um, and a few other organizations that were actually watching the individual before uh, they initially arrested the guy. Um, of course, he was in link to the famously known uh, dark market uh, online, the dark net. Um, you get on it with Tor, Tor web browser, uh, whatever way you set up with a VPN. Um, and OPSEC, really good OPSEC, which is just uh, uh, VPNs uh, uh, using using no JPEG uh, and a list of other things. But this story recently popped up, and it kind of shocked me because, like, I don't know how long dark market has been on uh, online but uh, I could say one thing um, it had a large listing of people and it was at the border between Denmark and another country where this gentleman was actually uh, arrested at Yeah, this it with it being seized, I'm sure the traffic will just reroute to a different dark market or black market. I call it dark market. Just another uh, type of um, marketplace, you know. It's definitely the uh, largest illegal darknet seizure, almost. They say largest, but um, there's multiple other ones, too. German prosecutors uh, in the cities of Koblenz and Oldenburg um, said they probably the largest illegal marketplace on the dark net is dark market I specifically think there's other ones just as big as dark market but um I know there was a lot of listings on dark market and a lot of other stuff as well Aside from the drugs and guns and uh, activities, the, the typical activities you have on there um, for, per, for sale with Bitcoin and other types of cryptocurrency. Um, the authorities said that uh, counterfeit money, stolen credit card data, anonymous SIM SIM cards and malware were all traded on the site which had a half a million users transacted business with cryptocurrencies equivalent to about 140 million euros um, which is equivalent to like 170 million uh, US dollars um, that's very interesting. I hope all of you are doing good. Uh, stay safe. Stay clean. Wash your hands. 
because I know my fucking ass is, I'm not fucking around with the coronavirus. Well, I know a few people, a uh, few people's family that have actually gotten COVID here recently. COVID is pretty fucking serious. If you guys aren't taking serious by now, you need to just go fucking, just look, just go look what the fuck's going on. Use your fucking mind. Use your brain. Uh, and it was not, uh, I don't believe it was Americans that actually did this either. It was German authorities who made the initial arrest. So, with that being said, um, but the FBI, uh, the DEA, and um, a few other uh, law enforcement divisions, um, they all contributed to the investigation, including IRA. IRS, along with police from Australia, Britain, Denmark, Switzerland, Ukraine, Moldova, with Europol playing a coordinating role. So, that's very interesting. But, um, it sucks to see another marketplace go down. But you guys, you know there's just going to be another one back up, another one running. So, uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you thought this video was kind of informative. It's just an interesting story i seen pop up. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you have any other information regarding this topic. Um... I'm always open and free to talk to. Uh, just shoot me a comment, shoot me a message, and I'll definitely uh, be talking to some of you guys. Thank you for watching, and peace.